current American territory. Long before the arrival of the Spanish, it was inhabited by different native peoples, such as the Anazazi, the Plains Indians, the Inuit, the Woodland Indians, or the Iroquois Confederacy, who used to be the most advanced civilization of that time. But everything would change in 1492 when Christopher Columbus landed in America. Finally we reached the East Indies. Um sir, those don't look like Asians. In 1513, Juan Ponce de Leon gave its name to Florida, and in 1565 the city of St. Augustine was founded, the oldest European settlement in the United States. Since the Spanish did not find any valuable resources in the north, the British would take the opportunity to expand their empire between the 17th and 18th centuries. As time went by, the English presence grew, and soon the 13 British colonies of North America would be founded. The British were not the only ones who wanted to steal resources from these new lands. The Germans settled in Pennsylvania, and the Dutch founded New Amsterdam, which would later be called New York. Spices? On the other hand, France controlled the then Louisiana Territory, that extended from the Great Lakes to the Gulf of Mexico. The enmity between France and the United Kingdom was at its height at that time, and in 1756 the Seven Years' War would break out in which Spain supported France, but they still lost the war. As a result, Florida was conquered by the English, and Louisiana became part of the Spanish Empire. Lo siento muchachos, pero deben marcharse. Although the colonists helped the English in the war, they were not rewarded, but taxes were increased, which that caused protests that later would be answered with more taxes. In 1774, the First Continental Congress takes place, a historic meeting of American colonial leaders united against British oppression, marking the beginning of the fight for independence. This event triggers the United States War of Independence in 1775, a conflict that would change the course of history. In May 1775, the Second Congress convened in Philadelphia and assumed national governing functions, organizing a campaign army under George Washington's command. On July 4, 1776, the United States Declaration of Independence was signed, becoming a national holiday. Hey, but you still haven't won the war. The United Kingdom was destined to win the war, but Spain and France pledged to help the American colonists. Alright, thanks, I guess. In 1781, the British suffered another heavy defeat at the Battle of Yorktown and ended up losing the war, leaving them with no choice but to recognize independence two years later. After the war, order was established in the 13 colonies. Elections were held, and George Washington was elected as the first president. United States also dared to claim Spanish Florida, taking advantage of Spain's distress as it fought for independence against Napoleon's troops, leaving them with no other option. Thanks to great development, the country expanded to the far west motivated by the gold rush in California, and by the creation of a large network of roads. To the south, Mexico had become independent, and as the United States was in its expansionist era, both nations went to war. The Mexicans were defeated and the Americans obtained a huge territory where the well-known Texas was located. I have enough meat for about 50 tacos. In 1860, the Republican Party supported the abolition of slavery throughout the United States. The slaves must be free and not for free. Fuck no, I need guys in my farm. However, the southern states that were dependent on slavery opposed it, which would lead to the division of the country and the outbreak of a civil war. Union troops won the war thanks to their victory at the Battle of Gettysburg. The victory led to the country's reunification and the end of slavery, but racism really went on. And later, Lincoln would be assassinated. Surprise, In 1865, the Ku Klux Klan was founded, a white supremacist and terrorist organization that violently attacked the black community. 
In 1867, the United States purchased the vast territory of Alaska from Russia and experienced significant industrial growth that attracted immigrants from around the world. However, this led to the expansion of the country at the expense of indigenous territories, resulting in violent wars such as the Black Hills, which wiped out indigenous peoples. United States with unlimited ambitions, sought to expand beyond its borders. It supported the rebellion in Cuba against Spain, using a false attack on his own naval fleet as an excuse to declare war against Spain. Hey Spain, que? look behind you. What did you do? ¿Y yo qué hice? The victory of the United States led to the independence of Cuba and the annexation of Puerto Rico and the Philippines to the American territories. Knock, knock, motherfucker, it's the United States of America. In 1914, the First World War broke out. The public opinion in the United States was against entering the conflict. I'm gay. But later, British intelligence uncovered a pact between Mexico and Germany to attack the USA, and Germany had also sunk several American ships bound for England. As a result, the US declared war on Germany and sent one million soldiers to France. Unfortunately, the mobilization and interaction of soldiers from different countries, including the Americans, caused the spread of the virus that caused the devastating 1918 Spanish flu pandemic across Europe. The 1920s, known as the Roaring Twenties, were with time of great economic prosperity in the United States. The country surpassed the United Kingdom as the world's economic leader, and new industries emerged, such as Hollywood cinema and aviation. <laughs> This boom would not last forever, and in 1929, came a global crisis called the Great Depression, that resulted in thousands of banks and over 100,000 businesses going bankrupt, industrial production building, wages dropping by 60%, investment decreasing by 90%, and unemployment soaring alarmingly. In 1933, Franklin Roosevelt came to power and implemented subsidies, social security laws, securities exchanges commission, and increased bank regulation. Additionally, public works project were nationwide to generate employment and improve infrastructure. Myth? Thanks to these policies, the country began to recover, but the outbreak of the Second World War in 1939 brought new challenges. Slow down, slow down, break, break! But I will talk about this topic in an upcoming video. Following the Allied victory, the United States and the Soviet Union emerged as two rival superpowers, representing capitalism and communism respectively. This led to the Cold War, a state of tense calm fueled by nuclear arms, where the world feared a nuclear war could erupt at any moment. The 50s were a decade of significant economic, technological and demographic growth, marked by the baby boom. But soon the black community would begin to protest. Thank you. What are we protesting? We're protesting everything. We're angry and we're not going to take it anymore. In foreign policy, the tension between the USA and the USSR continued. I have more bombs than you, stupid pig. Your empire famine will soon fall. As will happen with your towers. Wait, what? The United States failed to topple Castro's regime, triggering the missile crisis when Soviet nuclear missiles were discovered in Cuba, leading to the establishment of a direct red phone line between Washington and Moscow. Hello, Biden. It's Zelensky. We need five million The involvement in the Vietnam War ended in a humiliating defeat, as the country was forced to retreat after sustaining thousands of casualties and incurring substantial economic costs. On November 22, 1963, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated while taking a part in a motorcade through Dallas. In 1969, a groundbreaking achievement was made by landing on the moon, making Neil Armstrong as the first person to walk in its surface. After the Cold War ended, the USA attention would turn to the Middle East. The decade of the 90s started with the Gulf War, where the US-led international coalition forced Iraq out of Kuwait to safeguard oil interests. This decade saw the rise of pioneering tech giants like Google, sparking an extraordinary economic boom and cementing their status as key players in today's digital landscape. However, an unthinkable event would occur on a September morning in 2001, changing the course of American history forever.